Hey guys, I finally got the Vin Cube. Oh, I was holding it upside down. So, the Vin Cube, this is the ball core version, and it's UV coated, so I'm very excited. And my main has been this like $22 4x4, that's like almost considered a budget version, but um, yeah, let's get into this. All right, so here it is. This is the Vin Cube. And we're going to open it. All right. Very excited to finally try this out. I definitely kind of have a unique perspective going into this because I barely tried the first Vin 4x4 and I've been using a Diane Chang Solar S4M which is definitely on the cheaper side of 4x4s. But quickly going into that, I mean the Diane Shang Solar S4M because of its controllability. If you lube it correctly, um, the outer layers feel very, very similar to the inner layers. And I just like that consistent feel when I'm solving. So this was actually very nice to me. Usually the plastic, Usually the plastic wrap is like a battle. This feels very sticky out of the box. Um, kind of like a Moyu UV coat feel. All right, so it comes with a very fuzzy bag. I think it's a little dirty, but um, this is like a, almost like a furry coat. And we have actually like a heavy screwdriver here. It feels like a hunk of metal here. So that's pretty neat. Just some instructions and stuff, how to solve it. All right, so first turns. Okay, it feels very fast. Um, Turns are very light. Okay. I definitely feel a lot more um, help from the magnets. The ball core inside definitely, I could definitely feel that. Oh yeah, these these slices here, I feel a lot, I've never felt inner slices feel like that before. Every turn you make, it definitely, the inner layers feel super light. I've never felt inner layers actually this light. And this, so far, this cube has something I, I like and that is just the consistent feel between these inner layers and the outer layers. It feels very good, the magnet strength feels the same. Uh, and the snappy feel, that, that's very nice, I like that. This feels like the supreme version of the Diane Chang Solar S4M, and I haven't even set it up yet. So, yeah, this feels very, very nice. Let's take a look inside. So we're good. We're gonna just pop off the white side here and take a look, because so I'm very curious. And I'm also gonna leave it off so that I can just set it up. Take a look at that. So there's the screw and there are all the corner magnets. Is that breaking? And then look at that ball core. I've never seen a ball core look quite like this before. That's pretty cool. If you're wondering how I'm going to be setting this up, I'm basically gonna be putting lube in this inner circle here and just a little bit in the centers. I probably won't be taking the screws out and putting lube in there because I don't think it makes that big of a difference. But uh, if I feel like it needs it, I will, but yeah, a more in-depth review of how this 404 is in a future video. This 404 is so good. I was having too much fun solving this thing, I just couldn't put it down. Now I know that the Aosu V7 404 is out now, and having watched Speedcube Review's video reviewing it and unboxing it, it sounds to me that what makes the VinCube 404 ball core so good and enjoyable to solve is also kind of the same things that make the Aosu V7 so great. So the question is, which one's cheaper? And that title is going to have to go to the VinCube Ball Core, which is sitting at $32.95.
And the Yasu V7 Triple Track, which is the best version, is apparently $55.99. Even if you were to get the step down version, the double track, it would still be more at $45.99. So looking at it that way, the clear winner is the VinCube, but I can't be for sure until I get my hands on one to confirm. But yeah, this 404 has actually motivated me to get much faster in this event and helps a lot with my inaccurate turning, which is something that I love about this 404. After slightly tightening all six center screws and using Speed Keep Shop lubes to set it up, I've only managed to make this thing pop once, and it wasn't even one of those pesky white inner pieces. It was just an edge piece, funny enough. So yeah, great cube, highly recommend, and if you didn't know, the previous VinCube 404 version that is still UV coated but without a ball core is currently $20.99 at Speed Keep Shop. Save even more with my code OMEN. And if setting up a 404 seems too difficult and would rather a professional do the setting up, Speedcube Shop offers lubrication service. With all that being said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.